Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hello, Kat. Hey, Bruce. (laughs) And how was your weekend this weekend? Uh, I slept a lot. (laughs) (laughs) I had a lot of sleep. I drove back on Saturday. I was at at a training for work for um, like how to to host thoughtful and reflective community discussions and how to be a facilitator for those. So hopefully I learned some cool tips and tricks for fostering like deeper dialogue between individuals but it was an intensive two-day thing up in Newport and then the the four and a half hour drive back so I just I slept four and a half hour drive Saturday yeah, yeah involved yeah. a lot of sleep so yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was good it was much needed yeah uh, yeah so just hung out this weekend yeah mm-hmm. it was the last bodacious bazaar so that was it. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> <But> that. <laughs> the last insider of Southern Oregon events for the year I'm Feeling good about it. it. We had a great season. It was a great season. I mean, I was just talking about before the show, the weather was just, none of our events had any weather issues or anything other than the wind sometimes. It got a little crazy, but Always that's just down. At the, that doesn't even factor in anymore. No, that doesn't even factor <laughs> yeah. in. That's why we weighed everything down. Yeah. But I mean, I'm just saying that was that was it. That was the only thing went down was mm-hmm. the, that on that. Even if it was a little foggy, it was nice. I don't know. We had great turnout. It was a beautiful season. Sure. Mm-hmm. We're looking forward to doing it all over again next year because we're just that kind of people. Exactly. Now, Chrissy and I are really proud about what happened this year and everything. And uh, yeah, it was a good turnout. And we might change the dates. We want to talk about a couple okay. of them. So we're going to talk to a couple of people about, you know, who are doing things on dates that we have, and we want to try to work with, I know, everyone, like the fair and everything like that. Yeah. I feel like everybody needs to like just sit down in this off season. Everyone just needs to get together, get out their calendars, and go. Okay, here's what we got. <laughs> now, how are we going to step on each other, and, or how? Or, or, yeah, or how yeah, do yeah, we yeah. work together to like yeah. you know like be conducive to each other's schedules and dates and stuff like that? So we can I, collaborate. I don't know. <laughs> no, you know it's a great idea, and it's one that I was wondering why they didn't do, and then we did again when I was with the theater, mm-hmm. and we started you know checking with the other theaters, going, hey, what are you doing this? I don't know if they still touch bases with each other now or they just overlap on each other yeah. your theater so it sounds it's like, kind of hard to it sounds like perhaps a reflective theater and arts community based discussion is in order <laughs> community yeah. discussion yeah. yes yeah. that's with we where we take our calendars and talk about collaboration y'all <laughs> yeah you know it. and it could all incorporate together that way the team yeah. the whole town's working together Absolutely. including us uh, our event team, coordinators like events. we do promoters and everything like yeah. you know um but yeah. yeah, but that's pretty much what's going to go down. And so we'll be having fun. And we get our calendar going in November and everything. So that's what we're going to get together and get all that set. Then, you know, talk what other events are going on, seasonal and everything. Mm-hmm. It's hard for new ones. You know, they have to jump in when they can. But I mean, the ones that have been going, yeah, you guys just pick a, pick a weekend. Any weekend. And, and try not to jump on something that's been going already because you might get hurt. You know what I mean? So, yeah, or, that's or, pretty yeah. much it. But, yeah. yeah, I'm looking forward to it again and next year and having another great season going on. And, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, thanks to everybody and came out and checked it out and everything. And the Bodacious Bazaar, like I say, it was a little smooth, a little foggy on oh, this one. Did. But that's okay. I said, hey, it waited till the last one to be a little chilly, yeah. you know. But people came in and they flowed through. Yeah. And they came in and they stayed for a while. And yeah. but uh, uh, <laughs> anyways, we didn't have any music, and uh, you know weren't able to get it. And it was almost like, well, it wasn't necessary because people yeah. were just coming in. It wasn't sit around weather, you know. It's kind of a like, soft wrap. Yeah, up the but the vendors got yeah. busy, so yeah. it was all good. Everybody good. was happy. So mm-hmm. good. Well, it sounds like you and me might need to host a potluck with some groups and some calendars soon. Yeah, it's that's like, right. Yeah, you're giving me ideas, Bruce. I know. I think I just facilitated <laughs> something really going on there. Yeah, it's an important thing, so I'll yeah. be there. Yeah, let's chat. Let's chat afterwards. <laughs> we <yeah>. will. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, I hope everybody else went out and had some fun and did something because there's still things going on, and we'll get on here with that in a minute. But before we get started, I'd like to thank Oregon South Coast Fishermen, the Castaways, Just the Jeweler, and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows here at KCIW, just go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. Well, hey, here we are with our new music schedule. So yeah, let's rock. Yeah, over. It's big full. Man. October Boom. is here yeah. and we'll kick things off at the Elk Valley Casino. So on the 12th of October, they are presenting Invincible. That's a Pat Benatar tribute. Doors are going to open for that at 7 p.m. The show starts at 8. 
And then on the 19th, there's going to be stand-up comedy with Jason Collings. Doors open for that at 7.30 and the show starts at 8. And on the 26th, they're going to be hosting some Cosmic Bingo. Doors open for that at 6. The games start at 8. Yes, indeedy. And then at Cisco, he'll be playing on the 1st at Wild River Pizza from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. On the 5th, the 12th, the 19th, and the 26th, he'll be at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And then at Checo Activity Center on the 30th from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Hey, Bloodline is playing on the 5th of October at the Legends Festival in Gold Beach. And music will start at 2.15 p.m. over there. And then on the 18th, they're going to be at Checo Brewing Co. at 6 o'clock. And on the 25th, they'll be at the Inateca in Crescent City at 8. Yes, indeed. And then Mike Powell on the 20th and 27th, he'll be at Augustino's 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. And then Ranch Party is also going to be at Augustino's. They're going to be there on the 5th of October from 2 to 5. Yeah, and the Checo Effect on the 19th, they'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And then the Mighty Steelheads are playing on the 4th of October at the Inateca in Crescent City at 7.30. And on the 18th, they'll be at Porta Pints in Crescent City starting at 7.30. Yep, and then you got the Italian guys. On the 12th, they'll be at Inateca, 7 p.m. And then Misty Mountain Brewing, where music runs from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. On the 4th, they're going to host Patty Ann playing solo. And on the 5th, Danielle and Ohana. On the 9th, Miss Clara on the 11th, Lon Goddard. On the 12th, Rogue Strings. On the 18th, Reggae with Gabriel Kosas. On the 19th, The Checko Effect. On the 25th, Lon Goddard again. On the 26th, Two Time Nelson. And then on the 30th, they're going to host Angelic Noise, and they're going to be celebrating Misty Mountain Brewing's 10th anniversary. Boy, there's a full schedule going on there at Misty Mountain, that's for sure. They've added some dates. Yeah, they have. Mm -hmm. And then we got Rogue Strings. Now, the schedule has changed. So they'll be at the Legends Festival, but they sent me something yesterday, and they will be playing, instead of on the 5th, they'll be playing on Friday at Mm 2.15 at the Legends Fest. I told them I couldn't get it in the Insider paper because it's already printed, but I can do it on our show. So yeah, they'll be playing on Friday at 2.15. Okay, and then on the 12th, they'll be at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8, and then on the 26th, they'll be at Sea Star Bar and Grill in Gold Beach from 7.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. There we go. Hey. And then Stephanie Latore and the Reverbs are playing on the 4th at Porta Pines in Crescent City. Music there starts at 7.30. Yeah, and then we've got a Black GTO on the 11th. They'll be at Anateca from 7 to 10. Yep, and Patty Ann is playing on the 4th again at Misty Mountain Brewing. Music there running from 6 to 8. Yep, and then Anateca on the 4th, the Mighty Steelhead, 7.30. On the 11th, there'll be Black GTO at 7. On the 12th, the Italian Guys at 7. And on the 25th, Bloodline at 8 p.m. There you go. Right. That's our music schedule. That was a good dandy one there. Yeah. There's Yes, plenty to see <laughs> this month in October. Yes, All right. Indeed. Hey, let's look at some special and weekly and monthly events happening at the Checo Library in Brookings. They're located at 405 Alder Street. So coming up in weekly events on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they've got their story time for young children. That features stories, songs, and games with Brenna. And then at 1.30 p.m. on Tuesdays, they have a free chair yoga class. This is a beginner's yoga class that focuses on seated positions. And then starting in October on Wednesdays at 1.30 p.m., they have after-school activities. This includes homework help, a creation station, and snacks for older kids and tweens. And then on Thursdays, 1.30 p.m., they have another free chair yoga class. Again, this is a beginner's class, focuses on seated positions. And at 4 p.m. on Thursdays, they have after-school activities. Again, homework help. Thursdays focus on STEM projects and games, and it includes snacks for older kids and tweens. And then at 5.30 p.m. on Thursdays, they have a free Easy Flow yoga class. This yoga class is for beginners. It includes standing poses, and it is highly recommended that participants be able to comfortably get up and down from the floor to participate in that one. And coming up in monthly and special events at the library on Saturday, October 5th, they're starting a new series called Afternoon Indie Films. They're partnering with the Wild Rivers Film Festival to host free monthly screenings of the best films from the 2024 season. This month, they're screening the award-winning 1979 film Spirit of the Wind, and a Q&A session is going to follow that screening, and that's going to take place at 2 p.m. And then on October 8th and 22nd at 5.30, they have game nights at Checo Brewing Co., This is an open game night. It features games from the Checo Library's board game collection. It's hosted at Checo Brewing Co. on Railroad Street. 
You can try a game from the library or bring one of your favorites to share. This is a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in the community, and there's plenty of table space to spread out. Kids are welcome, but they have to be accompanied and supervised by an adult guardian. Game nights happen on the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month. Then on Saturday, October 12th at 2 p.m., they've got their Fall Poetry Slam. Poetry lovers of all ages are invited to an event celebrating the written and spoken word. Poets can recite original poems, or they can share a poem by their favorite poet with the group. Sign-ups begin at the door about a half hour before the event, and anyone who signs up to perform is going to be entered to win a door prize. And then coming up for book clubs at the Checo Library. On October 3rd at 6 p.m., they have the Curry Library Directors Book Club. You can join the Curry County Library Directors in an online discussion of the book Project Hail Mary by sci-fi writer Andy Weir. You can find the Zoom link for the discussion at checko.librarycalendar.com. And this is a book club that meets online quarterly. Then on the 9th of October at 4 p.m., they've got their Kids Book Club. This is geared towards second through fifth graders, and kids vote on and pick the books that they want to read each month. And then for more information about book clubs, programs, services, you can visit checkolibrary.org or follow them on Facebook. You can also give them a call at 541-469-7738. Hey, now it's time for Quotes from Famous People with Cousin Bruce. Yes, hey, here we got a few quotes from the 19th president, Rutherford B. Hayes. He was born October 4th, 1822. He says, The progress of society is mainly the improvement in the condition of the working men of the world. He serves his party best who serves his country best. One of the tests of the civilization of people is the treatment of its criminals. And last but not least... Unjust attacks on public men do them more good than unmerited praise. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's coach. You never know what's going to come out of this box. With Cousin Bruce, until next week, you have a great one. Boy, oy, oy, oy. That's yeah. a machine, man. I love that it's like for our listeners who cannot see what I'm looking at, it's like this bright red box. It looks almost just like it's like, don't touch the red button. And, and, and there's all kinds of buttons and I find them. And Bruce has to push the red button. <laughs> There's so many of them. At and least. they got little signs above them. And some of them I like to find out what they do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So the Checo Pelican Players, located at 1240 Checo Avenue in Brookings, is currently presenting The Weir. This is running through the 6th of October. Friday and Saturday performances are at 7.30 p.m. Sunday matinees at 2 p.m. Just one weekend left to see this. And what's this play about? In a remote country pub in Ireland, newcomer Valerie arrives and becomes spellbound by an evening of ghostly stories told by the local bachelors who drink there. With wind whistling outside, what starts out as Blarney soon darkens as the tale drifts into the realm of the supernatural. And then Valerie reveals a startling story of her own. They do have a content warning here. It contains adult language and adult content. $15 for adults, $7 for students, and there are three ways to secure your seat. You can go to checkopp.booktix.com. You can get tickets at the door on the night of performance, or you can call 541-469-1857 to reserve a seat. That's right. Hey, getting back to the Checko Library, we were talking about that Uh before. Uh, Man. Still got a lot of stuff going on. We're hitting October. I was mentioning oh, yeah. that at the beginning of the show going, geez, yeah. man, it's so great. Yeah. Though. Yeah, There's no, always something happening. Always something going yeah. on. There's yeah, something you got happening. something to do. I was going to say, if you're looking for something to do, there's, there's they stuff. They got it going on. There's stuff to do. <laughs> yeah. I keep seeing these poetry things and I got I got poetry. Well, uh, I, I, I can bring it in. <laughs> now and come that the bazaars are winding, I, I know out. everything's done. Why. I can come have some fun yeah. now. Yeah, Win exactly. A, a door prize it might be like <laughs> something like a poetry journal. It could oh. be a candle. It could be a book basket. Oh, oh, it's just know. another way of getting up and standing in front of an audience too. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I love that. Good time. Get my fix. Yeah. Please, always welcome. Yeah, creamy. Hey, Gold Beach Main Street presents that's coming up this weekend. Legends Fest at Curry County Fairgrounds and Event Center. This will be happening on the 4th and the 5th from noon to 10. There will be live music, vendors, beer garden, food trucks, lots of fun activities that include a bounce house, a giant bubble station, a dunk tank, and here we go, the axe throwing for kids and adults, face painting, plus more. There's Bigfoot Encounter Stories, Hathaway Jones, and other tall tales, art contest, photos with Bigfoot, and karaoke. Yes, there is. There is an entry fee 
maybe there's a photo with Bigfoot doing karaoke. How about no. that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. There is an entry fee. <laughs> yeah. The fifteen dollars and then kids twelve and under are free. For more info, you can go to legendsfestgoldbeach.com. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. That ought to be a very interesting event right there. Bro axes with Bigfoot. You know, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, uh, we had it one time at one of the pirate festivals. We had an action yeah. thing, and that was a blast. Oh, I bet. Yeah, it yeah. I mean, it sounds like a scary good time, you yeah, know? <laughs> it, it, it brought my Nordic back out. Yeah, I was having a good time. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. All right. The Wild Rivers Film Festival is presenting Spirit of the Wind at the Checo Community Public Library. As we mentioned before, the Wild Rivers Film Festival, in partnership with the Checo Library, is launching a monthly screening of selected featured films from the August Film Festival. Their first showing will be Spirit of the Wind on Saturday, October 5th at 2 p.m. That's in the Forest Room at the Checo Library at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. And if you're curious about what Spirit of the Wind is about, it is a true life story of George Atla, a famous Alaskan dog sled driver. Set in the 1950s, this film explores the ways in which a disabled Athabascan youth comes to terms with both his disability and the cultural conflicts he experiences through his gift for dog sledding. Writers Ralph Little and John Logue bring empathy and inspiration to the fore in this beautifully crafted family adventure story. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Another WRFF mm-hmm. function going on. Very cool. Hey, Lucky Seven Casino is presenting Casey Chestnut on the 5th at 8 p.m. Casey is the son of honky tonk legend Mark Chestnut, and he takes the stage at the Tallawa Event Center at Lucky Seven Casino and Hotel. Doors open at 7, and the show kicks off at 8. Seating is first come, first serve. Tickets are online at www.eventbrite.com or at the door. You must be, okay, it's one of those places, yes, indeedy, must be 21 years or older to attend this event. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All righty, and hey, now it's time for a bit of real history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. Good day, cat. Good day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome to this week's bit of real history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know that man was flying 25 years before the White Brothers? It's true. Now, here's the story. In March of 1878, Connecticut inventor Charles F. Ritchell of Bridgeport obtained a patent for a dirigible of his own unique design. The Ritchell flying machine, as it was called, consisted of a cylindrical gas bag 12 feet in diameter and 24 feet in length made of black silk. It also featured a metal frame made of brass tubing which hung below the gas container and provided seating for the pilot. Well, once aloft, the pilot propelled the gas-filled airship forward by turning a hand crank that spun the ship's rotating propeller. Well, the pilot could then steer his course using foot pedals that allowed him to turn a brass rudder at the front of the airship. Richel first exhibited his dirigible in Philadelphia, where he made several flights inside one of the large buildings that had been part of the Sentinel exhibition held in that city in 1876. Well, on June 12, 1878, Richel brought his airship to Hartford, where a lightweight pilot named Mark Quinnan operated the hand-powered aircraft. Before a crowd of amazed spectators who had spent $15 on a mission, Quinlan took off from a ball field behind Colt Armory. He sailed over the Armory, turned out, and went over the Connecticut River, then returned to the ball field, where he landed safely and shook Richel's hand after what had been the first controlled flight of a dirigible in the U.S. Richel later built and sold five of his patented flying machines. Well, all the while envisioning a bigger, long-distance version of this dirigible would be mechanically powered by an 11-man hand-cranky crew. Well, that machine never materialized, and except for a cover article about its historic Hartford flight that appears in Harper's Weekly later that summer, Richel's inventiveness made no lasting contribution to the science of dirigibles. I hope you enjoyed this week's Beer with History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Till next time, always keep it real. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, it's not a plane flight, but he did a flight's a flight. Up in the air. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Like, what kind of flight are we talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Exactly. Sure. Yeah. Defined the flight. The count. I think they count. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. The WHO Fair is coming up, and that stands for Wholeness, Health, and Oneness. It's taking place on the 5th and 6th of October from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and that's going to be at 97895 Shopping Center Avenue 
Attendees are invited to explore energy, abundance, and vibration. Going to feature tarot readings, Reiki sessions, sound experience, Akashic records, and much more. And for more information about this event, you can email Himalayan Harmonious Healing at gmail.com. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a good one there. Another metaphysical moment. That's right. Brought to you by Himalayan Harmonious Healing. That's yeah. Yeah. Hey, Brookings Emblem Club number 265 is having a fall rummage sale. This is going to be at the Brookings Elks Lodge, October 11th, 12th, and 13th. The donation drop-off will be accepted on the 11th from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Brookings Elks Lodge downstairs venue. Sale begins October 11th at 10 a.m. They look forward to seeing everyone there. Proceeds from this sale help the club help those in need in the community. So good cause for a good cause. That's right. There you go. All right. And then coming up at Botanical Gardens in Brookings, they're having a Harvest Festival plant sale. This is going to be on the 12th of October, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's going to feature live music, apple cider, baked goods, bobbing for apples, face painting, pumpkin painting, a Xerxes Society booth, a Master Gardener's booth, and it features tours of the garden. They're celebrating National Indigenous Day where there's opportunities to learn about the local Talawadani nation. It promises fun for the entire family, and while you're there, you can get tickets for the Potted Garden Raffle. I'm sure everybody's out there Googling it, but what is a Xerxes Society booth? I mean, I can Google it, too. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> we'll get back on that one. Okay, I thought like, you might know it, but yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to say, like, looking up uh, the Xerxes Society for Invertebrate Conservation. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, it looks like a conservation group, environmental organization that focuses on the conservation of invertebrates considered essential to the biological diversity and ecosystem. There you go. So yep. we beat you to the draw, it everybody, is... but now you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You learn something new every day. That's cool because we huh? said that last week, last couple of weeks, and I've, I meant to figure out what it was. Yeah. The more you know, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Hey, Elk Valley Casino, located at 2021 Elk Ranch Road, presents Invincible. It's a Pat Benatar tribute. This is happening on the 12th at 8 p.m. So you can get your tickets now on sale or in person at the Points Club booth or online in advance at www.etix.com and on the day of the event. Doors open at 7 and the show starts at 8. Seating is a first come, first serve, and you must be 21 or older to attend. Another one of those. Very cool, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I got to tell you, I, when I went to the concert, you know, out there at the Alien Ant Farm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we went to the wrong place. We went to the old, I hadn't been out there, I hadn't been to the casino in a long time. And we were out there all of a sudden, I go, oh, that's right, they moved. And we found it. Get on the phone and Google it, you know, oh, good. and it okay. directed us right there to it. But I was like going... Wow, yeah. Crisis so. averted. I yeah, gotcha. yeah, yeah, I yeah. Gotcha. Exactly, but that <laughs> did happen on that one. That was fun. Okay. Hey, there is a grand opening event for the Crescent City Pump Track located at Beachfront Park in Crescent City. This is going to happen on the 12th of October at noon. There's going to be free giveaways for kids as well as riding demonstrations, and kids are invited to bring their bikes and helmets for some fun. Yeah, I didn't know what a pump track was. It's just a, for bikes and stuff like that. For uh-huh. people, It's just a like a mm-hmm. little area they built and everything so kids can take their bikes out there. I guess they could use rollerblades or anything on yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, it's just a skating, a Safe, skate park. A safer riding environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was gathering a yeah. kind of a skate park, but more, you yeah. know, because, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, very cool. Yeah. Very cool. I never heard that term before, so cool. Yeah, that's neat. Another thing I learned. <laughs> hey, uh, St. Timothy's Episcopal Church located at 401 First Street in Brookings and presenting acoustic soloist Terry Robb. This will be happening on the 18th at 7 p.m. Terry Robb is an English style guitarist, singer, composer, arranger, and record producer. His work is featured in Hollywood films, documentaries, and biographies such as Game of Thrones, The Horse Whisper, and Dance of Death, The Life of John Fahey, American Guitarist. He is associated with the American primitive guitar genre through his collaborations with Fahey. In his multi decade career, Rob has released 15 albums as a solo artist and performed at festivals and concert halls across the United States, Canada, and Europe. For more information on this, you can go visit www.terryrob.com. Tickets are 20 at the church or at the door the day of the concert. Yeah, so you can get them there before that. Beautiful. All right. And then Calvary Chapel Gold Beach, located at 29935 Harbor Way in Gold Beach, is hosting a first responders appreciation dinner that's going to come up on the 19th of October from 5 to 7 p.m. 
So all first responders, police, fire, EMS, sheriff, they're all welcome. And you are invited to give them the opportunity to serve you. Yeah, absolutely. And Curry County Chamber of Commerce is presenting the Curry County Candy Map. Join the Small Business Candy Map Fund. The Curry County Chamber of Commerce is thrilled and announced the, their Halloween Candy Map event in collaboration with local small businesses. On Thursday, October 35th, they'll be handing out Halloween candy and celebrating in style. Attention all small businesses in Curry County. This is your chance to be part of the Halloween magic. Get your business on the Halloween map and join the festivities. They encourage you to host a sale, organize an open house, be creative, have fun, serve refreshments. You can help make this Halloween unforgettable for the whole community. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity to showcase your business and connect with local customers. To participate, you can contact them at Curry County Chamber of Commerce at gmail.com. And they can't wait to see all the spooky and fun ways local businesses will celebrate. All right. all right. And then Curry County is presenting a Halloween block walk at the courthouse. And up in Gold Beach, candy is going to be handed out by each department located in the courthouse on the 31st of October, Halloween, from 3 to 5 p.m. And they do note that in the event of bad weather, the candy will just be handed out in the annex hallway. Yep, and we'll be bringing more of that next week and the following week. So a lot of Halloween stuff going lots on. Lots of candy to yeah, the hand. Lots of candy places, <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, we just got the flying fickle finger of fate from the producer, so it's time to close out this week's show. Before we go, I'd like to give a shout-out to our fearless producers, Ray and Tom, for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And thank you all for tuning in to this week's Inside Report. Make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM, and you can catch all the fine shows they have to offer. You can also listen to the Fantastic Show podcast, including the Insider Report, by going to kciw.org. And while you're there, hey, check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And we are signing off, so please support local businesses, keep it real, and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll, we'll see, see you out, out there. there. Bye now. <laughs> Push the giant red button. For music credits for the preceding show, go to kciw.org slash credits.